I design environments for people, uh, environments to um, work in, uh, to look at art in, to shop in, and I design the systems that create those environments. I'm always interested in, in trying to create the next new. So what's going to be the next new? And I, I want to be there first. Arab, it's, that's, that's where Arabs should be. We should always be at the forefront of technology. So One Bly Street's a commercial office tower in, in Sydney. It's uh, Australia's first double skin building and also probably the first warm climate double skin. So the outcome of it is a facade system that is super efficient. It only lets in about 10% of the solar gain in, in summertime. The brief asked for a pretty traditional form of air conditioning system. We were trying to create a, a solution that was more energy efficient, more spatially efficient, and also uh, one that enabled the system to work very effectively with elliptical form. So we came up with a, a solution there that took a, a really traditional form of air conditioning for Australia, which is a, a, a variable air volume system. Um, but around the, the elliptical form of the facade, we use a chilled beam technology so that the cooling actually tracks the solar journey across the facade. So it's effectively the, Australia's first hybrid uh, air conditioning system. Now that's almost become the industry standard. I want to use my fellowship to demonstrate to you know, the, the engineers coming through the ranks that you can reach a pretty high office in Arabs and still keep your hand in uh, as an active designer and hopefully push a few more boundaries. The thing that fascinates me most about environmental engineering is uh, uh, how to blend uh, design solutions that are a bit progressive with um, and, and create great environments for people with the ability to do it using the least amount of natural resources. So New Acton Nishi uh, is set out to be the most sustainable building in Australia. And if you want to really uh, create a truly sustainable building, you have to innovate. The roof of the commercial building is a plane of solar panels. It's the largest building integrated solar panel system uh, in Australia, so 400 kVA. The, uh, the timber facade, it sort of sucks light away from the facade. So it means that you can control the con contrast, so it improves the visual uh, comfort of the occupants from, in from inside to, to out. You know, it does look and feel entirely different from anything else in Canberra. And you know, there's a, quite a risk associated with it in that actually it wouldn't be accepted, but actually the, the reverse happened, there's massive demand for it. But you never actually know whether the next trending technology is going to be until you dream it up. If you look at a motor car, you know, you've got climate control in every seat now, individually. Well, you know, we should be able to design buildings that are affordable, where everybody gets around climate control. To be part of the team of fellows means that I've got to keep my game at the highest possible level and also just keep uh, motivating uh, our staff to, to, you know, to do the best they possibly can. You know, we don't accept mediocrity uh, in our, and um, you've always got to be pushing to do something new, to do something a bit better than the norm. If you've got people in your team that have all got that mentality, you nearly always achieve that.